Are you ready for some hungry, hungry shadows? Because the shadow, the consuming shadow is here. Uh, I don't know anything about this game other than it came out in 2015. It's not new. But it's described as a side-scrolling action RPG roguelike. So we're going to get going and see what exactly that means. We're going to start a new game. I will say okay. There we go. There we go. A shadow is trying to enter our world, one of the ancients. The runes confirm it. I don't know which one. All I know is that they arrive at Stonehenge three days from now. One hope remains. The ritual of banishment. Four runes encanted at Stonehenge will close the gateway. The trouble is, I don't know what the ritual is. If I investigate the strange events heralding the shadow, maybe I could piece it together. That's all I have. A maybe. Well, killing ourselves seems extreme. I mean, when we, in World of Horror, no matter how bad things get, we never kill ourselves. We're, we're up to the challenge, right? Let's begin a journey. I received a text from the Ministry of Occultism. Cursed towns are the best place to find what you're looking for. If you want my advice, start from Stonesholm and work it out from there. Also, my rearview mirror says don't look back, which is kind of not a very useful rearview mirror, I would say. I have 15 cash, and it is 11.01 a.m. Set my destination. Let's go to Stone's home. I could go to other places such as Finn's Chilch and Almsley and Four Hill, uh, but they recommend I go to Stone's home. It's 90 miles. I guess uh, my car is auto-driving. Let's got a text. I've got reports of a sleeper cell in Almsley. Needs cleanup sooner rather than late. What does a sleeper cell mean? Should I be armed? What am I what am I dealing with here? If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Well, it looks like we're still going. Yeah. Amateurs like you could always just run away from Hellspawn. Personally, though, I find killing them to be better for the sanity. I've reached Stone's home. Sure, let's enter the town. Uh, I think I have it on Enter Town. I always like it when you have two... You have two options. And you wonder... So which color do you think is the highlight? I'm going to guess it's gray. So I think it's on Enter Town right now. Yes, okay. My hair stands on end, and I feel a scratching at the back of my mind. This can only mean one thing. Magic. It must have leaked through in great amounts from the out... Oh, no. You got... Got, got leakage. Magic leakage. Got to see a doctor about that. Magic bleeds through our realm, through rifts, and the concentration of it here means there must be one nearby. Fortunately, what can be opened by the same corrosive energies can be closed. I guess I'll investigate further. Isolating the rough location... You know, when it says rift, the text is quite small and low resolution. When it says rift, I'm reading it as NFT. And that doesn't even make any sense, but in isolating the rough location of the NFT was the easy part. Just isolate the strands of magical energy, the appearances of otherworldly creatures, then triangulate the point they're all moving away from. One brief touch of a particularly active ley line indicates a fairly newly built community college on the border where the commercial district meets the suburbs. Another case of students messing with powers they don't understand. I steal myself to enter. When you to college were there like uh, were there people like messing with the supernatural i mean i guess there could have been when i went but i don't remember seeing any of that like the most i saw was, was like people watching anime and there really wasn't any occult stuff happening there like i there could have been likely that could have been a likely group of people to engage in the occult but i didn't see any, i didn't see it is what i'm saying Let's investigate further. Uh, let's see. Let's view the controls. Here we go. 
left, right, to move left and right. I can hold A for run and up, down, interact, and X to fire the gun and B for melee attack. We have to find a dimensional NFT and seal it with an incantation. I'm consider. Oh, no. Uh, I, I leave if I... Okay, there I am. I didn't see me. So now this is the side-scrolling action. Can I look at that th No. There's, like, something there? Okay, I can hit. It looks like there's something on that desk. Banishment rituals. Uh, interact is up and down, but I guess I can't interact with that thing. Off we go. Hmm. Do I want to walk through this door, or do I want to keep going this way? We have a map in the lower left. Oh, I asked before. Oh. Hey. Eh. 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 We did. I pistol whipped it. I asked before, am I armed? I guess the answer is yes. A pile of useless metal implements. I have found a small tool I could function as a lockpick. Or I could just have brought a lockpick with me. I mean, I feel like there was nothing stopping us from just bringing to a, a bag of tools with us. I mean, are we not prepared to engage with whatever might be in our way? I found a set of keys. These should make exploration easier. Found keys. Okay. We haven't seen any locked doors yet. But if we do, we know what to do with them. All right, so we're going kind of in a circle now. I mean, I guess it'll give me a prompt if I can interact with something. All right, there we go. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. I feel hot and nauseous, and my hands won't stop shaking. Hopefully it'll pass. Man, are we a paranormal investigator or what? I'm like, we're an amateur, it sounds like. The walls of the cave were absolutely covered in the rune commonly pronounced as... <laughs> Each one daubed on in a chalky yellow paint by what I sincerely hope were human fingers. But we found a clue. The rune is associated with the color yellow. So let's see. We, there's Ag... There's Ag... I still don't, I don't know what to do with that yet, but it's associated with yellow. That just goes back there. Hello. Oh. Hold on, let's see. Uh, fire gun is X, so let's do that. That, that shot right, oh, right over. Enemies are short. Enemies here are short. Enemy is gone. I don't know if I can aim. Like, if I... I like, a, pressing the D-pad or the stick doesn't cause me to aim or anything, and pressing the button just causes me to shoot. So... Don't know. Hold on. Is there aim? Doesn't mention aiming. Move left, move right, run, interact, fire gun, melee attack, spell casting mode, incant, rune switch, ammo, notebook, pause menu. Hmm. Enemies being shorter than me might be a problem. I have found something. A single diary page has been stuck here. At least I'll have something to read when this is over. Why don't we read it now? Why don't we read it now? Now? What? Uh, X? No? I guess, I, I guess I'm not reading it now. I'll read it when this is all over. While not their signature color, the god <coughs> is also shown to have an affinity for the color red, which is associated with an allied deity in the ancient pantheon. Mm -mm, yes, yes. Mm. The ancient pantheon, of course, of course. I was able to kill a shorter enemy earlier by, like, pistol whipping. Maybe that's... But that other enemy I just fought, like, he spat at me at a distance. So I don't know how effective that would be. The pistol whip. 
The walls of the cave were absolutely covered in the rune commonly pronounced as sh <clears throat> each one daubed on in a chalky red paint, but what I sincerely hope were human fingers. Well, they're red. Ow. Got key. There we go. Pressed up. Hmm, yes, yellow runes. All right. Uh, let's see. Agn is associated with yellow. Oh. What, was that because I failed the spell? Well, from the notes, we know Agnum is associated with the color yellow. And looking at the map, it doesn't, doesn't really seem like that there are any other runes we can't, any other rooms that we can go to. So I guess we're dealing with this. All right, so what is on that? Splorch. Right, Kaz is on it. Hello. And you is on that. Should I only use those runes? Or should I use Agnon? It was foolish of me to incant spells at random. A searing pain now drills through my head. Should I smack that thing with my gun? Oh, okay. Oh, more than one came out of there. All right. Well. Eh, is yellow. Should I only use the these two runes? Splorch. Right. These are the two that are there. Okay, that worked. It's just use the runes that are there. That's all. My recording device picked up the chanting of some kind of mantra intended to ward off evil. It's hard to make out, but the first part definitely sounded like... <clears throat> My, I, okay, my dungeon ritual has been completed. Return to car. Uh-oh, is something coming? Eh. It vanished. Was it even there to begin with? Am I losing my mind? This can't be happening! I mean, if, if you've already saw the real monsters, I don't know if imagining the monsters is really... Is that worse? Like, would you be relieved? Oh, okay. That's not actually there. That's just my mind, and I'm losing it. That's it's better, actually, than if the real monsters were there. Let's return to the car. 57 hours left. The town is not immediately improved any more than a flood zone would be simply because the rain has stopped. But my contribution is made. Time to move on. Yes. We... Well, we got rid of that thing in there. I guess that's good. Let's return to the car. All right. Set destination. Go to Billsmith or Twingate or Finn's Church. Oh, that's right. Uh, they did text me saying that a uh, splinter cell was found at Almsley. Let's drive. Man, I hope, uh, I hope we're being reimbursed for gas, because we are putting a lot of mileage in for this job. I come heart-stoppingly close to running over a person sprawled out in the middle of the street. They're wearing all green and have exceptionally long legs, so long that it makes me think they might not be entirely human. Additionally, they speak like they're not really an adult man. It feels like they're just trying to pretend to be, but I get the impression that they don't actually remember anything after a few hours ago. Is it some sort of strange being wearing the skin of some other human? Possibly. We will try to help him. 
Trying to remember some medical training, I attempt to keep his jaws apart. As I do so, a hideous whip-like limb bursts from his mouth and slashes me across the face. I spend the next few minutes pounding the remains of the poor soul's head into the road with the soles of my shoes. I scold myself for being too trusting. I get back in the car, nursing my cuts. Doesn't pay to be nice when you're a supernatural investigator. All right, we're at Almsley. I am brought to the problematic area and told that payment will be made once the problem is dealt with. I don't think the locals fully understand what kind of presence is in their town, but they showed much relief and gratitude as I made my way inside. Okay, so the town itself is paying me to deal with their supernatural problem. If in danger, I can't escape dungeons from the pause menu. Up oh, there I am. Find and exterminate the large creature bewitching this town. Alright, we could go this way, or we could keep going this way. That's the end of that, so let's try going south. A locker. There's a dented old cash box containing around five pounds in change. We gain money. Oh, oh I guess I left. All right. Help! I've been imprisoned by the cult of Kussel. <laughs> they locked me in a filthy obulette. I can hear them cursing some enemy god, chanting, but <laughs> I think they're killing people up there. How did this note get in this locker? Well, I found a clue. There we go. That time the bullets did not go overhead. Another victim of the shadow. Their body is torn to ribbons, but while my forensic skills are rusty, I'd swear the wounds were self-inflicted. Man, imagine being able to tear yourself to ribbons. Some impressive strength. Splorch, splorch, splorch. Can I pistol whip him? Doesn't seem so. Splorch, splorch. Anxiety seems to be getting the better of me. Once again. Also, uh, profound injuries. Just really intense injuries also getting the better of me. Did I look at this? Okay, here are bullets. We gain ammo. Armor-piercing bullets. Hell is a keepsake. Yes, my... My emotional memorial armor-piercing bullets. My auntie owned these bullets. The sh <laughs> rune has been inscribed on the wall here in orange, upside down. This means is it intended as a curse to the god that associates with the rune. We're back. Okay, so it looks like we've done all the all of the rooms. And I'm dead. I died. My final score was zero. Ending G.
Let's see. Asphyxiated to death on a cloud of toxic gas 53 hours before the ancient's invasion. Managed to partially assemble the banishment ritual. Took a balanced approach to combat, but slightly favored melee. Exterminating six enemy minions with melee attacks. In the end, subject was a mentally shattered lunatic. Aren't we dead? We're... I don't know if we could be a lunatic if we're also dead. Files updated. All right, let's try beginning the journey. Sto go to Stonezel, okay. No, let's go to Stonezel. There we go. Let's head on out. I wonder, I mean, it seems like you'd kind of have to favor melee, considering you don't have that many bullets. Or at least, I mean, you find bullets, but it seems like you probably want to be careful about using them. The shadow has a definite foothold in Sawhome, and it's going to make its move soon. Do it or don't, but if you don't, the town won't be safe for long. But we're at Stonesel. Reports have reached me of mysterious pests rising up from the ground at numerous places. They attack randomly, killing cats, stealing food, and injuring people. It's clear that this is only the beginning of something terrible. I feel it won't be long before these creatures go larger and bolder, or someone gets some monstrous infection from a scratch. The solution is to wipe this out now before it gains any more footholds. Well, let's investigate further. I uncovered word of some kind of domestic terrorist in prison for sending illicit materials through the mail. And these materials apparently differed greatly from the traditional anthrax or letter bomb. All of his special packages were destroyed except one, which was misaddressed and returned to parcel storage. Shortly afterward, the infestation began. The post office storage building is, I think, the next place to look. All right, let's find the special package. So many boxes. How will we find it? I mean, I guess it'll be obvious. It's pro whatever it is is probably not in a box anymore. Used to be in a box. Probably doesn't fit in the box at this point. Hello. Discarded wallet containing six pounds. A body lies on my feet. Their body seems to be ripped open in several places, and the wounds repeatedly violated in unspeakable ways. We have to examine it pretty closely to get to get to be able to figure that out. I don't know how long we've been spe how how much time we've been spending here examining these wounds to come to that conclusion. I have found three armor-piercing bullets, perhaps left over from some kind of police operation. Ammo is good. We probably should have, like, brought up... I don't know, like a crowbar with us or something, in addition to the gun. In case of a four-rune incantation, the last rune denotes the recipient of the spell. In the banishment ritual, for example, it would be the rune of the creature being banished. All right, so if we need four runes, the last one designates the target. Uh, oh, we're concluded. We're concluded. There's some locked doors, but... I guess we can't go in those. Oh, hello? Oh, no, we can't go in those. Never mind. I found... Okay, five pounds. Two unfired hollow points. Uh, 
<laughs> right, we're anxious. Oh, leaving the room with monsters alive reduces our sanity. Creatures still infest every crack and shadow of the town, but they will no longer breed. The combined effort by the locals will be enough to exterminate the remainder. I can move on now. All right, uh, I guess let's head to Sawhome. Sure, a no number. I think something's really wrong with Law Hope. You're the guy who deals with this sort of thing, right? Apparently, seems like that's our job. Seems like we're the only one who does it. I am brought to the problematic area and told that payment will be ma made once the problem is dealt with. Locals don't really understand what's happening. Find the dimensional NFT and seal it with an incantation. All right, so we got to use magic again. We'll see if that goes better this time. A local folktale told the children concerns of Bayarla, or terror beast, which comes into the home and eats scared children. One wonders what the child is expected to do to avoid this fate. Got no picks. Hello. <coughs> Found a set of keys. This should make exploration easier. To my horror, after the priest in the center of the circle incanted the phrase, <clears throat> every unfortunate prisoner he had gathered around him mysteriously died in violent, explosive manners that haunt my nightmares to this day. We learned a spell. I've been gravely wounded and the bleeding won't stop. Without treatment, it will only get worse. Portable first aid kit. We were able to remedy. Just just in time. But we still do have like a blood icon at the bottom. Uh, here's a spell. Alright. It we see two of the same. Two of the same things in there. Which are uh, this. All right, anxiety's getting the better of us. An ancient nine millimeter pistol. I hear, I heard the words. <laughs> being chanted inside the tent, and that night the warrior who had been near death was hunting boar with his fellows, but something had changed in his eyes. He had seen something on the other side, and his mind recoiled to even think of it. Alright, well, nothing left, nothing of importance left in here. If these New Age types knew what type of forces they were toying with, I think any anxiety they find is relieved by the Shim Kasm mantra would probably be cancelled out. We learned a spell. Regular ammo.
In the ancient, in the language of the ancients, the syllable agung is usually given as a name, but also variously been written to denote the concepts of fear, paranoia, and anxiety. We found a clue. They spiked me. Got spiked. Birth star added. We're now at level two. Stabbed to death by a hopper 55 hours before the ancients invasion. Managed to partially assemble the banishment ritual. Restricted themselves to close combat, exterminating 21 enemy minions with melee attacks. Learned three spells, but seemed to distrust magic. And avoided making casual use of it. In the end, subject was a heavily armed corpse. Well, maybe so, maybe another paranormal investigator will find our heavily armed corpse and it'll, it'll be useful to someone. That's all you can really hope for from life, that you end up being useful to someone. Okay, uh, health plus 14, research 9. The crab. Uh, sure, okay, let's just, we'll just leave it on, on that, I guess. Look for intel and cursed towns. Restock at safe towns. Fincham would probably be your best place to start. All right. Well, we're going to have to go to Birchester first. And then Fincham. Yes. I have some intel that urgently needs to get to Kitholm within five hours. You don't have to help out. But these things escalate quickly. Calm and peaceful. My heart feels pained and heavy. Well, I haven't actually done anything yet. All right, what are we buying? Okay, we're buying ammo. We're buying a breathing mask, which has toxic damage. Uh, I have 15. Sure, let's buy one of those and one of these and maybe some of that and like maybe that. Okay. Keep running, coward. The only reason you still live is because your feeble efforts amuse our lord. We need to be more careful about who we give out our number to. Uh, I'm said to go to Kitholm. Okay. Let's head back to Kitholm. The message is received by a flustered man dressed not dissimilarly to myself. He is agitated enough that I am forced to awkwardly remind him of the agreed payment before he can run off. Whereupon he throws a handful of notes at me and disappears into the shadows. You don't have to throw the bills at us. He just handed us. Him. Uh, tranquilizers? Sure. Why don't we buy one of those? Well, finch him is where they said we should be going. I've got sightings of enemy, enemy minions and hearsing that need exterminating. Don't expect a warm welcome there if you let this slide. I stop momentarily outside an old church where a youngish man dressed as a priest sits on the steps, clutching a smoking gun. At his feet lies the corpse of a man who I can immediately see has been altered quite horrifically by the shadow. The priest registers my pet presence but does not look up. In a monotone voice, he asks me what has become of our world. Well, let's tell him the truth, father. I tell the priest everything and he stares wide-eyed throughout. When I am finished, he has only one question for me. Can you stop it? I tell him, I hope so. In reply, he gives me his gun and mournfully goes back inside the church, locking the door. The gun, I find, is loaded with hollow point rounds. Four in all. Just a friendly conversation with the father. Okay, we're at Burster, but we want to, um... 
we're heading to fin uh, well i guess let's go to hershing that has a time limit on it oh a family member hello dear i just got back from a weekend in lawbury it's a it's lovely there you should visit sometime no abominations from beyond the pale none this, none that i could see anyway but of course we all know that they exist right bef right on the other side of the curtain between dimensions and i don't have the sight to actually see beyond that curtain so i had a good time As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of the shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valiant effort to fight them off, but the struggle could go either way. I prepare to lend my effort to the resistance. Oh, it's an all-out riot happening in the town. People versus shadow creatures. It's, it's happening. It's going down. It's all going down now. Got three... My small contribution has been enough to turn the tide. I'm able to give advice on future defense. The local authorities are grateful, and when I none too discreetly mention the posted reward, they seem happy to pay it promptly. All right. It wasn't really as big of a thing as I thought it was going to be. Just killed two of them, and that was fine, I guess. All right, now... Uh, let, now let's go to Fincham. I'm greeted with a startling scene in the middle of the road. A large man clutching a large and vicious kitchen knife stands over a terrified woman, apparently his spouse. He announced that he is convinced that she is possessed by the darkness, something I cannot verify from where I stand. He moves a stabber through the heart. I have only seconds to act. Well, as we found out earlier, uh, being the good Samaritan only leads to pain. Because obviously... The, they must be creatures of the shadow. Let's inspect the wife. I quickly see that the husband may not be as hysterical as he seemed. The wife's skin is an unnatural shade of greenish beige, and her eyes are rolled back into her head. My presence must have made him hesitate, however, as a newly sprouted limb manages to get the knife away from him, then return it, violently, to his throat. I prepare to make amends for my meddling. Oh, we're fighting. What is that? All right, it's like a fly flying meatball. Ancient nine millimeter pistol. The monsters are dead. Nothing more for me here. Let's go. We're at Fincham. At first, I was ready to declare this town to be unblemished, but the facade fades quickly under scrutiny. In response to my questioning, a few residents have seemed ready to give an urgent account, only to think better of it or to be shushed into silence by another. The air is thick with unaired secrets and unconfirmed suspicions, manifesting as whispers, graffiti, and anonymous texts. There is an evil here, I know it, one so loathsome that it will freeze even the busiest tongues. And we want those tongues to be busy. Let's investigate further. Whispers in the alleyways and pubs of the working men's districts keep turning to the subject of a wealthy business owner who controls the town and whose behavior has become strange, never leaving their mansion. A father has pleaded for me to investigate. His daughter was invited there, allegedly for some kind of society party, but never returned. I promised him I will return with news, good or bad. I want uh, probably good news. I feel there's no reason to think that it's not going to be good news. Splorch. A lot of splorches in this game. 
There's a scarded pentagram necklace inside, which I could make use of. I'll sell it on eBay later. Let's see, it has the sanity loss from spellcasting. All right. I have recovered from just dusty jewelry I estimate to be worth about five pounds. Might as well rob the place while I'm here, I guess. No picks left. The rune has been inscribed on the wall here in red, upside down. This means it's intended as a curse to the god that associates with the rune. Help! I've been imprisoned by the cult of Gnunk. Okay, we've seen this before. They're in the filthy obelay. Uh, ah, vomit. Ceiling vomit. That's the worst kind of vomit. Hello. My god, I killed them. Spared by the shadow only to be slaughtered by me. My stomach feels sucker punched with guilt. Nothing left for me here. I can escape now by the same way I came in. Oh, lost sanity. I decide, if confronted, to pretend that the shadow did this. The thought makes me somehow even more disgusted at myself. Look, we have we have encountered people who seemed to be regular human beings, and they turned out to be shadow creatures. I was just being proactive. I'm good at my job. Turn to the car. The news of the death did not, it seems, come entirely unexpected to the poor soul waiting for my return, but they seemed to appreciate my efforts. As I made my excuses, they pressed the wallet into my hands, explaining that it had been left behind by a previous visiting occult investigator. I deserve this money. Biarla is not the god attempting to invade. I know you're reading this, scholar. Your actions will have far further reaching consequences than you could possibly imagine. Was I accusing Biarla of anything? Like, as far as I know, we're cool with Biarla. Okay, we have now some, like, we have items here. All right. That spells. All right, so sure, let's head to Old Worth. Oh, from a family member. I don't expect a reply to this. I'm not going to sit and fret about whether you ever will. Just stay safe and maybe one day we'll see each other again. I'm glad when people who text me don't expect a reply, because most likely they're not getting one. Not because I don't mean to, it's just like, it can wait till later and then eventually it's too late to do it, so I might as well not. I am immediately suspicious of the geniality the people of this town display. There is a hollowness to their attitude that belies a combination of entrancements and evangelism. evangelism. When pressed, the apparently unaffected people mutter disquieting stories of friends and loved ones returning from meetings with changed personalities. Smiling ones all wear gloves and baggy clothing buttoned to the neck as if their flesh must remain hidden. Everything points to some kind of evil consciousness, a dark, controlling presence, buried somewhere out of sight, puppeting and perverting. Well, perverting is our thing. 
Now do I click to not shoot myself? Okay. I had to press the button to not shoot myself. The townspeople here are friendly in the most disquieting way possible. There's a hollowness to the attitude that... But okay, no, we've already seen that. We've already seen that. It's a little bit different. It now says that I am convinced that a dark power operates beneath the surface, infecting bodies and minds whenever it's oily tendrils settle. But what if I... I don't know. What if I like the sound of oily tendrils? Hmm? Let's investigate further. One of the untainted townspeople revealed to me that the possessed ones are constantly drifting off to meet a run at a rundown former community center off the beaten track, often dressed in their finest formal gear. My informant's helpless, helpfulness dries up quickly when I suggest he joins me to investigate. The reaction was telling, despite being entirely expected. Find and exterminate the large creature bewitching the town. Strangely, each of the tribes I have studied independently link the name of Gnick and Bjar. The implication being that the two have a close bond, perhaps as siblings or consorts, or both. That is what the kids are into these days. Splorch. Many cultures with quaint, have quaint associations with colors. How about that? It's weird. So, cultures and colors? Um, as far as I know, the only culture that counts is the grayscale one. No colors allowed. To the ancient Polynesians, red was regarded as, as the color of love. It was supposed to be the color you see at the very moment of orgasm. I mean, I, I don't know. It seems like kind of odd to say that's the color you're, you're supposed to see. If you want to find out if you see red at the moment of orgasm, it's not really difficult to confirm that yourself. Mostly garbage. There's a piece of sturdy wire where I could probably twist into a lockpick. Gained lockpick. Out of picks. Someone left their key ring here. Hopefully I can open all the doors now. Splorch, splorch, splorch. Truly horrifying. I have been gravely wounded and the bleeding won't stop. Without treatment, I fear it'll only get worse. The syllable had many uses and uses in the language of the ancients, the most notably as the first symbol of a notorious dispel purported to be powerful enough to banish a god. Unless there's any more loot to be found, I can call this operation complete. Time to go. All right, let's head back to the car. Uh, there is a room I haven't been in. But I have the keys now. I found two armor-piercing bullets. Oh, I guess there was something in there. 
The townsfolk are not immediately better off with the extermination of the creature behind their enslavement. There have been several murders and suicides already as the memories of their actions return. The best thing I can do is go. I'm just getting out of here. Look, I shoot monsters. I don't deal with the aftermath. It's really not my job. Let's head to Billsmith. Happened upon a small country church where a number of locals have taken shelter. From the indistinct words drifting out from the entrance doors, it sounds like some kind of sermon is taking place. I'm finding the prospect of peaceable human contact extremely enticing. No, that's never true. Let's hit the road. Human interaction is always a mistake. Special ammo is more expensive, but worth it. Hollow points do more damage, while armor-piercing shots damage multiple targets. Yes, I have some intel that urgently needs to get to Hersing within seven hours. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. I don't think Hersing is anywhere close to us. We're at Billsmith now. The shadow cast upon this town hits me like a foul stench the moment I leave the car. There are people wandering the streets bent almost double, as if an invisible weight clings to their backs. I saw a tarpaulin in the street covering a huge mass from which something that may once have been a limb extrudes. Something far worse than a mere generalized taint has called this. I feel I'm drawing close to a source, the source of the taint. Not strong enough for a full NFT, but perhaps an artifact. All right. Let's see if we can mint some NFTs of this taint. Reports indicate that the strange events began after the police inv raided an abandoned house. The number of artifacts were seized. The facility the police uses for evidence storage will be my next destination. It must be recovered. I am willing to take the risk. Thankfully, the vile air in this place makes my mind heavy and confused, which goes some way to suppress the aching terror I should feel at the prospect. As opposed to, you know, regular... My regular state of being, which is dazed and confused all the time. The air is making it extra so. Someone left their key ring. Great. Found the keys already. Oh, there's like a thing. That was like a spell caster or something. He was casting spells. Found some snack food. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, that didn't exist. Oh, a stab-proof vest. Now I cannot be stabbed. Let's see. How did I... Well, not that. Just looking at... that inventory screen, bringing it up on a on a gamepad. Just looking if there is something in the controls. <clears throat> I'm not seeing it in the controls. Which is kind of odd. You'd think there would be something in the controls to do that. But I'm not a professional paranormal investigator. So what do I know? <laughs> corpse. Scarcely recognizable as a human, their body is little more than a mass of oozing deformity. So much oozing. Just oozing all over the place. The syllable 
had many uses in the language of the ancients. Most notably as the second symbol of a notorious dispel. Okay, it can banish a god. We have seen that one before. Okay, we can call this complete. I guess we're done here. Objective is get away. Oh. It's a big face. Why is this face so big? It's a big, big face. Oop. There's that spellcaster. Okay, we got a bot. We got some ammo. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm stuck. where the face is, if I can expect the face to be coming back. It's not appearing yet. I guess, oh, hello. I guess we're leaving. The town is lost to the shadow. Nothing I could done can change that, but perhaps with what I've recovered here, this will be the last. Maybe. All right, we can go to Stonehenge, but before we do that, why don't we go to, uh, Lawberry. Since we're not doing so well. I stopped to enter a corner shop that didn't look abandoned, and was confronted by an armed man in hastily assembled survival gear, demanding money from a terrified cashier. He attempts to simultaneously cover both me and the cashier with his gun. Flicking as I am left and right, his eyes are wide and nervous. Well, I guess I'm not wearing the body armor, so let's talk him. Talk to the guy. With my hands in the air, I indicate behind myself with my shoulders at the door in the darkness outside. I point out that whatever world we live now live in, the usefulness of money has been severely reduced. He runs out of the shop without a word, confused and desperate. Filled with pity, I watch him go. The cashier gratefully insists I take 14 pounds as a reward, undermining my argument. Somewhat. I mean, money's still useful. You've been using money for things. I feel quite buoyed by the clean air here, and people are friendly enough. It can only be a matter of time before they catch the shadow's attention. Oh, yeah. I don't want to kill myself. I want to go to the hospital. There is a discredited doctor operating a backstreet surgery here. That's not exactly a hospital. They'll heal me without question as long as I have the cash. Let's see. Buy illegal drugs. Refill med kit. Treat bleeding. Healed. Refill med kit. Okay. Buy illegal drugs. Bought syringe. We're doing okay. Well, no, I mean my my health is bad. I can do I can fix that though. My injectable drugs. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the good stuff. All right, let's head to Stonehenge. What will we find there? In the center of Stonehenge, the ground has been torn up, and an eerily lit entrance leads into some kind of tunnel network. I don't know if it's unthinkably ancient or recently built, but either way, the shadow was not even trying to conceal it. This close to the deadline, it must be feel assured of victory. This will either be the place where it will finally be vanquished, or a fitting tomb for myself. I must be sure that I have all the runes and the order they must be cast for the ritual, or at the very least enough information to confidently guess. So I don't know if we actually got uh, everything, but well, we're going to enter the tunnels anyway. Let's see what we find here. Let's find that summoning chamber and cast a ritual of banishment. So what we have is red is with lust. Gnick is an ally of Bgaw. is not the invading god. Gnix is an enemy of the god identified by the Yu rune. These are the things we know. Yeah. <laughs> 
splorch. Small portable first aid kit. Always useful. And when the king recover, he displayed his bed sheets, which have become stained purple with pus. From that day forth, purple would be the color most beloved to the god of disease. Okay, purple is associated with disease. Also, maybe that king should have seen a doctor. Another victim of the shadow. They appear to have died in absolute terror. The mouth is open so wide that the jaw appears to have been dislocated. Oh, hear me, oh, Kusaw. Touch the heart of the one I love. Burn away his senses with your fiery gaze and send him to me as a wild beast to tear my flesh apart that I may lie nestled between your legs and death. It's hot. Okay. Kusaw uh, is the god of lust. Some kind of survivalist cash here holding two bullets. Okay, we got hollow points. Oh, that's the end of that. Okay, nothing worth taking. A body lies on my feet. They died with their limbs drawn up and their hands covering their face, desperately trying to block out the nightmare around them. No picks. A body lies at my feet. The feet are raw with blisters. They might have been fleeing for something, from something, with no apparent concern for the pain. The corpse appeared to have died. Okay, now we already saw that description. Let's head south. recover some just dusty jewelry. Well, don't know how much those pounds are going to help us here. Three unfired hollow point bullets. Perfectly functional lockpick has been left here. What's this? Looks like a, pain, a page torn from a diary. No time to read it now, but I'll hang on to it. I wonder what that means. We're not reading it now, but later, maybe later we'll do that. 
Oh, there's a bone in my leg. We broke a bone. Small bottle, bottle of medicinal alcohol, which I immediately put to two uses. All right, got a broken bone. We've seen that description. Mm hmm. Key, okay, a key ring. Now we can open all the doors, but there are locked doors way up north. I guess we'll just hang out here and see what we find. Deaded. All right, and is there nothing else in here? It's not appear that there's anything else in here. Oh, there's this. Nothing there. Well. This is also a dead end, but is there anything here? There's this. It's okay, nine millimeter rounds. Ammo is always good. Health, at all, health is also good, and we don't have that. I guess we're heading back north. deaded. All right. Well, we got to level three. Died from the heavy impact of a swinging dangler. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? Those swinging danglers, they will get you. 37 hours before the Ancients' invasion, managed to partially assemble the banishment ritual, tended to favor close combat, exterminating 32 enemy minions with melee attacks. In the end, subject was a mentally shattered, narcotics rippled, crippled, suicidal, heavily armed scholar. Hey, don't, don't judge. We, we had to take those illicit drugs because of all the anxiety having to deal with the supernatural, the monsters of the supernatural. Well, we had gotten to the end of Stonehenge, but I didn't have the entire banishment ritual. Uh, so that probably was not going to be, probably was not going to be possible to actually do it. They said that, I guess they did say that maybe you could guess at parts of it, but I don't know if we had enough to actually do that. And then we died. So that looks like that is our tryout for the Consuming Shadow. Oh, those shadows. So hungry. What sort of points do we get? A moral? Um, well, uh, let's see. Did I do anything immoral in this tryout? Mm. Uh, I, w I would say... Nothing comes to mind. I think uh, we did everything by the book. We handled everything uh, straight as an arrow. And um, yeah, I think we were a, a moral guidepost for future investigators to imitate. We should be held up as an example for how others should uh, for how others should conduct their behavior. I can't think of anything wrong that maybe we did. Nothing's... No. Mm, no. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. 
Um, suspense. Hmm. Hmm. Suspense. Was there anything suspenseful about this game? Uh, well, again, I would say nothing comes to mind. N no. Um, erotic. This one's easy. So much squelching. So much squelching. Did you hear all the squelching? All those squishes and those splorches so much of it um bodily fluids everywhere both human and otherwise um very erotic game clearly uh, also the fa also i'm sure all the monsters very hot it, that's the reason everything is a silhouette to get your ima your imagination going on how sexy these abominations from across the veil must be um very erotic game i would say um but yeah that is our look at the consuming shadow you can drive around and walk around and uh, there are some monsters who attack you and gotta find the things the pieces of the thing so you can use the thing at the thing at the end of the thing and uh you know maybe not die probably not dying would be good like, we, we kept getting the ending where we died. And it's probably not a good thing. Probably want to actually get all of the pieces of the banishment ritual so you can actually find use them in the, the correct room in Stonehenge and drive off the Elder God who is uh, gonna come through. Uh, that has been our look, our hour-long tryout of The Consuming Shadow. Splorch.